Hey guys, David Patrick Green here. And oh, I was gonna actually, a little bird war going on between a uh, blue heron and a seagull. <laughs> Don't know if you caught any of that. Uh, I did get a request to do more birds in my video, so I'll, I'll try to do better next time. Um, anyway, I, I wanted to uh, just share something that I, I heard from Dustin Hoffman at uh, the Sundance Film Festival. I was there a few years back and he had a premiere with uh, some other really talented actors, Edward Burns, etc. And we had, there was a Q&A and most people are terrified to ask a question or if they do ask a question, they just start out with, you're so freaking amazing. And then it's like, you know, where do you buy your shoes? Oh, I don't know. So I always am putting out actor questions. So I said to Dustin, hey, Dustin, um, how do you get your parts? And if, if you're somebody starting out, how, how should I go about uh, getting parts? Because, you know, to me, it just, it's really tricky and I don't understand it. And he just said, don't worry about it. And I was like, what does that even mean? And he goes, don't worry about how you get your parts, just get them, okay? So while that was a bit of a cryptic answer, something just happened to me that made me completely understand what he was saying. And so the next part of the video will explain how I explain what Dustin Hoffman meant when he said, don't worry about it. All right, check it out. Break every rule and you will succeed. That's my message for today's video, guys. Uh, after having recurred on six different TV series and booking some of the biggest blockbuster movies in history, I've learned a few things. And now I teach those things to others and I've got this awesome client story that is going to literally change the rules for how you deal not only with your audition and submission process, but with everything you do in life, if you want to get better at it and if you want to have major success in your entire life. So it's a, story, a little story that I think you'll all be able to relate to. Uh, my client who lives in not a huge production market had submitted herself for a project in a different market in a different time zone. And they were doing live Zoom auditions rather than self tapes. And so she was sent an appointment uh, as to when her Zoom uh, call was to be scheduled. Uh, she had told the director she was in a different state and time zone, but when the director sent out all of her appointments, she didn't specify what time zone the appointment was in. My client, I guess, assumed that she was referring to her time zone, which is a mistake on her part. She should have sought to clarify, but regardless, she missed her audition time. And then she said, well, I, you know, you didn't say what time zone, so can I reschedule? And this person, here's where the story gets interesting. This director said, you know, unfortunately, out of fairness to all the other actors, I can't possibly, sorry, I got a jog here. I can't possibly uh, reschedule <laughs> because they made it on time and you didn't. So I can't uh, let you do this audition. And so my client relayed this to me because I try to make myself available at all times to my clients, day or night. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Um, and she sent me this email and I, I looked at it and it's, and, and it just sounded crazy because, um, and I don't say crazy lightly because she, the director, was basically punishing herself with her own rules. Of course, she was also punishing uh, actors, which is, I think, was her intent, right? It was to sort of teach people a lesson. They need to be on time uh, or, you know, some some vision of fairness that she's trying to insert on the world. And, you know, it sounds like film school professor mumbo jumbo to me, stuff that they are taught in film school, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but she ends up punishing herself 
by not allowing every actor who wants to audition, who she has chosen to audition, uh, to actually audition. Because that means she is actually preventing people who might be right for the part uh, to not be able to read for it. Therefore, making her project worse than it could have been. So I said, okay, here's what you do. Just do what you want and ignore what she's saying because you are here to help. She's already chosen you. You actually even know that she thinks you're probably a good candidate for this part. So just ignore all of the other stuff and fairness and you know the blah 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 stuff, the, the stuff people like to say, and just see if you can still help her with her project. And the only way I know that you could do that is to send in your audition and see what she thinks. So she sent in her audition and I guess it worked because the next day, in fact, it worked on two levels. The next day she gets an email back and it said, oh my gosh, thank you so much for ignoring what I said. <laughs> okay. So try to wrap your brain around that. Thank you so much for ignoring what I said. Uh, because of your persistence and because of your excellent audition, I am going to grant you the role that you applied for. Okay, so that's great. Now, before your ego gets carried away with this, you need to pay attention and see what's really going on here beneath the surface. So what this director is, is realizing is, I can't believe I have these silly rules, but anyone who breaks them, if they are good, I'm going to ignore that they, they broke my rule, right? And I'm going to actually give them kudos. I'm going to congratulate them for knowing that they thought they were right for the part and submitted for it, despite the fact I told them not to. And that I'm also going to give them the part because they're actually a really good actor. And they instinct, they instinctively knew that. And, and they were right. Okay. So she's basically saying, don't listen to what I say, because if you know you're right for the part, then why would you listen to somebody who doesn't already know that, right? The director didn't know she was right for the part. She thought maybe she was because the limited information that comes through in a submission, but she didn't know what this person was going to do for the audition. She sent in the tape and it was an awesome audition. And that coupled with the fact that she didn't listen to the director actually appealed doubly to the director. And so she got the part for not just the one reason, but for two reasons. Okay, guys. So the message today is don't just break the rules. Just pretend that there are no rules because there are not every single situation calls for its own. Every single situation calls for its own thought process. You have to ask yourself, what is it I'm trying to accomplish? What is it I'm trying to do? I'm trying to help somebody. How am I trying to help them? How can I help them despite their protests? Okay, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. Please like and share this video. And um, yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions for other ones. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep producing this content. Whether you like it or not, I will talk to you soon.